you know, I, I've just gotten to the point of why am I even told this stuff and then I can't tell people about it. And I've already told over 10 reporters about this. And they, by the way, already know. It's an open secret. And I just can't believe. Oh, he's been on, some of my contacts have been on the phone with Fox News. It's called him and others today. Everybody knows that the boat is sinking. Everybody knows the captain lied. Everybody knows the war is over. Everybody knows the good guys lost. And then now the long winter sets in of slavery, where now the criminals go, yeah, we're spying on everything you do. Yeah, we're spying on petty crime with the NSA. Yeah, we're watching. Yeah, we're going to take your kids whenever we want for no reason. Yeah, we're going to put poison in the water. It came out in the news that, oh, Gardasil sterilizes women. Oh, who would have thought something being pushed by Bill Gates would sterilize women? Really, uh, who, who would have thought they want it for 11 and 12-year-old girls that are about to go into puberty? <laughs> I mean, who would have thought? We're just going to let them do that to us? It, it, it's, I'm not going to sit here and take this stuff, okay? Where are the men in this country? Everybody is so scared. Well, I'm scared of being scared. I'm scared of living in fear. Let's go to this really creepy, disconcerting, unnerving, that's the word being used by the media behind the scenes, with the creepy British intel guy, Piers Morgan. You know why I blew up at Piers Morgan? Because I was disgusted by him. My skin crawled. He looked like a vampire in person, folks. He looked dead, like a reanimated corpse. Well, I'm not dead. I'm not dead yet. I'm alive, and I'm not backing down. My ancestors didn't, and I'm not. And civilization is built on men standing up to gangs and thugs. Civilization should be built on ingenuity and ideas and what you bring to the table, not being a bunch of armed thugs feeding on populations. I will not consign my family to slavery. I will not sell out to evil. Let's go to this clip. Here's, here's part of it. The first time we're going to hear now from his widow, Elise Jordan, who joins me exclusively. Elise, good to see you. Thanks for having uh, me. You've been a regular on the show as well, as well as Michael. Uh, fake charm. Incredibly sad, incredibly tragic. How are you, first of all? Just taking it day by day. I was blessed to have the time with him that I had. So I feel very lucky for oh, that. Yeah. And, you know, just taking it day by day. She looks there genuinely been, really happy. As there always are in these situations, wild conspiracy theories that he was chasing some hot story, maybe connected to that, his, his late night car crash in Los Angeles, other theories too. Look at the look in her eyes. Do you eyes. subscribe to any of this? Do you have any idea really what may have You know, I have no doubt that he was pursuing a hot story. He always had at least five hot stories right. going. That was, that was <laughs> I work for the so, shadow uh, government. And he also, on the, record. there will be published his profile. You're seeing the John video Brennan of this, folks. Upcoming issue she of looks Stone, like she just um, won the lottery. Weeks, but right now, the, invest, the LAPD still has an active investigation. I don't really have anything to add. I, You know, my gut here is that it was just a really tragic accident. And Oh. I'm very unlucky, and the world was very unlucky. Yeah, yeah. He was a, a real one-off. I mean, he, right, that's enough. He so uh, it, it, it goes on and on. So the car is driving down the road, and all the witnesses say it blows up and then into the air and into a tree. And now we have video of it driving along and a big explosion in the middle of the street, just like all the witnesses said. Now the 911 tapes are released, which the feds fought to stop. Uh, and and she told people at the memorial, "I'm going to take down who did this." So maybe she's putting a big act on so they think she's going to shut up. Uh, undoubtedly, she's bare minimum been threatened. But remember, folks, she worked for the highest levels of the real government in this country. This is so creepy.